Beat my record. Forget something? Hmm? <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you in the undergraduate journalism program? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, yeah. I haven't been coming to lectures much. Mm. Not really feeling it. Oh. Right. Look, that thing you were doing in the water. Can I ask what it's about? Holding your breath like that? Some people meditate. I sink to the bottom of a pool. One of these days I'm gonna get to two minutes. Wow, that sounds intense. Why do you do it? It's nothing. Just beating the clock. You don't want to just try out for the swim team or something? I don't do teams. I should be getting home. Look, it's just... So, I had a friend in middle school. She was, like, infuriatingly perfect. Top of the class, captain of the soccer team. And one day, we're all on this field trip, and boom, she disappears, gone. We eventually find her in the back. I just know she'd have felt better if she knew there was someone ready to listen. Right. Maybe. Just ask for me. My name's May. With a Y. Got it. So, I talked to Mima. What? When you were changing the license plate, I called to check on her. Did you tell her any- No, no, I just wanted to hear her voice. Are you sure you're up for this? Huh? Hiking over the border? <laughs> I'll manage. I know it's the best way to avoid the police. I'll feel better in the woods. I'll spend most of my time there already. Don't you ever get lonely out there? Not really. Why? Freedom of it? Back home, someone's always telling me what to do. <laughs> Build a deck. Help with the roof. Out in the woods. My house. My rules. That does sound nice. More on the manhunt for the Desert Dream Killers, who first robbed the Two Rock County Sheriff's house, then took shelter at a motel that turned into the scene of a... Uh, 
Why'd you do that? That's the thing from back home. I don't like the news. Always makes the world sound bad. It's not the world. Just the people in it. <sighs> Sorry. That was dark. We're in a fucking stolen car. Morning, you two. Everything okay, officer? Just running a sobriety checkpoint here, looking for any intoxicated drivers coming back from that River Palooza music festival. Were you there? No, sir. We we're just passing through. Can I ask where you're coming from? We were in Salt Lake City. We're on a field trip for our... with our church. Which church is that? Uh, LDS? You know, the Book of Mormon? Uh-huh. Anyway, if I could just see your license and registration, you'll be on your way. Sure. Just a sec. Where is it? Hmm. Well, it's against the law to drive in Montana without a valid driver's license. I'm really sorry, officer. I'll need to run the plates. Dispatch, need you to run some plates for me? Montana, three, Papa, two, one, five, seven, Tango. Shit, he's gonna find out any second. What, again? Well, can't you run it manually? We need to get out of here. Look, I can explain. <sighs> Goddamn database is down again. Huh. There's a sneak peek of Y2K for you. All right, I'm gonna let you off with a warning. Next time, bring your license along for the ride. I will, officer. Go on, get out of here. Hey, Dad. How's the, um, new plane? Oh, you are gonna love it. So much quieter than the old one. So, um, are you okay? It was my birthday on Sunday, and you usually call. Oh, Dad. I'm sorry. It's just... The thing is, I... Don't tell me. Lectures coming out of your ears. I get it. <laughs> So how about your mom and I drop by campus tomorrow for lunch? That might be... tricky. Why? Everything's cool at school, right? To be honest, Dad, I'm not sure the program's right for me. What are you saying? You're <laughs> dropping out? You've been wanting to study journalism since the ninth grade. No, just... weighing my options, that's all. Dropping out? Is that Zoe? Relax, honey, she isn't dropping out. You bet your pants she isn't. Not without talking to us first. <laughs> Zoe? 
going? Sorry, Mom. I gotta go. Seeing it? What is that? Huh. there. Grandpa. Zoe! I know it's late, but I, I could use a friendly ear right now. Do you mind if I come over? Oh, uh, thing is, I, I, I've run into a little, uh, situation here. What kind of situation? Mr. Walker! I'll be there in ten. It's like I told you, I can't have tenants damaging the building. And I told you, I didn't damage a damn thing. Mr. Walker, I really don't want to get into another argument. Oh. Hey there, Zussie, old boy. Zoe, thank God you're here. Now please tell this woman I have a right to the quiet enjoyment of my own home. Huh. Quiet enjoyment? You vandalized your front door. Okay, slow down. What happened? Somebody broke in and stole my wallet. Uh, no. Hmm. You misplaced your wallet, and you broke your own front door. Zoe, someone was here. I saw him lurking in the shadows. Did you get a good look at him? Was he wearing a black hoodie? Oh, uh... uh Maybe I, I I don't quite remember. You don't remember because it didn't happen. <laughs> I'll tell you what did. Your grandfather wandered outside in his robe for the third time this month. When he realized he didn't have his keys, he broke the door to get back in. 
That is not true. I wanted some air, so I, I took a walk and, uh, and I, I saw someone, and, uh, I, and then the next thing I know, I'm arguing with, with Shelby here. That's not even my name. Yeah. Zoe, I know this is painful to hear, but your grandfather is declining. He needs a nurse or an assisted living oh, home God or... Oh, goddammit, I don't need assisted anything. We obviously have very different interpretations of what happened. Still, somebody will have to pay for that door. Send us the bill. Ah. I'll make sure it gets paid for. God. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please get him help. Mm. Mm. Oh. A conspiracy to extort money from a vulnerable old man. That's what this is. Can you believe that woman? Assisted living. She sounds just like your parents with that crap. Don't tell Shelby. But I know I didn't break my door because I keep a spare key under the mat. You do? Isn't that kind of unsafe? You want to hide something where no one will find it? Stick it right under their noses. How are you doing, kiddo? Anything new? Me? I'm fine. Oh, you don't look fine. You look like you did back in high school when you thought you could cram for finals by staying up all night on triple lattes. How you been sleeping? Didn't have a bad night for months. Until the nightmares started creeping back. Now... I'm scared to fall asleep. Oh, Zoe. You seem to be doing so well. Did something happen? It doesn't matter. Oh. Seriously. So, what else? Still got your sights on the New York Times? Actually, I'm thinking of leaving school for a while. I told Mom and Dad. You can imagine how that went down. Ooh, like the Titanic, I expect. I always thought it suited you, the investigative journalism thing. Digging around in other people's business, telling the world how it really is. I don't know, Grandpa. I just want to wake up on a beach somewhere. No one around. Walk out into the ocean. And disappear under the waves. No, you don't. Take him on someone who's been a pro at running away. Wherever you run, your problems run after you. <sighs> Hang on. Where's my tablet computer -y thing? Oh, no. Those bastards. I got that for my 74th. Mind if I look around a little? Maybe I can figure out who stole your stuff. Be my guest. All books, medical books. Is this all from when you were a traveling salesman? Salesman? Yeah, you told me you used to. Wasn't that your job? Kid, back then you could say I was a jack of all trades. I think the only real job I ever had was convincing people I was someone else. <laughs> Grandpa, are you taking your meds? I don't like them. They make me fussy. Okay, it's your body. Grandpa, are you sure you didn't break the door yourself? 
God. How can I be sure of something I can't remember? Have you never gone into a room, forgotten why you came in? Haven't you ever misplaced or lost something? You know I've lost plenty. I don't want to lose you too. Shelby's right. It's getting worse. Places, dates, the school I went to. It's like someone's slowly packing my memories into boxes and none of them have labels on. Can you imagine how that feels? Sounds awful. I can't even begin to. <sighs> you must think I made this whole damn mess up. Actually, someone's been following me too, I think. What? Earlier at the pool. And then tonight at my apartment, I, I thought I saw someone. But I don't know if it's even real. I feel like we're both losing our minds. Good God. Zoe, look. I know you went through hell as a kid. Seeing all the terrible, terrible things you saw. And I know you sometimes think it drove you half crazy. Seriously. You don't need to remind me. I know I don't. But that's what I'm trying to say. Hmm? I don't think you are crazy at all. Because if you were, how could we both be seeing the same thing? Grandpa? Either we're both losing our marbles, or... Or what? No. It's impossible. Okay, I'm here. I was fine. I was fucking fine. And then one little trigger and bam! It all came roaring back again. Oh, the two of us. Me trying to remember you, trying to forget. I don't want to forget. I just want to not care. How do I do that? How do I make the past leave me alone when I keep seeing it everywhere I go? I guess you just need to stand up and face it. <sighs> Look it in the eye and see this thing for what it is. If the past talks to you, you listen. And when it's done, 
then maybe you'll be free. I wish I had another layer on. It's gonna be beautiful once we get some altitude. What's the furthest you've ever hiked? I did the Two Rocks of Two Rock once. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, it was hard. Come on, we got a lot of ground to cover. Tell you a secret? I've never left Arizona before. Tell me when I'm not about to collapse. I promise I'll care. Here. <sighs> You'd be going a lot faster without me. I'd be going nowhere without you. Give me your hands. Uh, teamwork. <sighs> I don't get it. I'm cold and wet. My legs hurt like I've been in double gym all week. And you're the energizer bunny, just <laughs> going and going. How do you do it? Been doing this all my life. You've been doing it since lunch. Okay. Yeah, true. I'll get the hang of it. <sighs> My God. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. Sometimes at home, around sunset, me and my mom used to walk out into the desert, and on a hot day, if there was enough haze, the sun would just bloom like a giant fireball on the horizon. Was it better than this? Just different company. Hey, you're bleeding. Shit. I didn't even feel this happen. Let me see. <laughs> there. That's better. I'm glad you know what you're doing. So, how do we get over the border? We're gonna have to swim. Won't it be cold? Freezing, probably. But it's good for you. Wakes you up. Way better than coffee. <laughs> ah. down. Uh. Vanessa? Are you there? It's me. It's Dad. Dad? What are you doing here? Do you know? Do you have any idea who you run away with? Y yes, his name's Dean. And I know all about the stupid burglary. Vanessa. This isn't right. How did he find us? Look, can we just talk for a few minutes? Please. We need to get up to that ridge. It's the only way. What's the point? He'll just keep following wherever I go. He thinks he can carry me home over his shoulder like I'm still a little girl. Well, fuck that. Vanessa, what are you doing? Hold your fire. Dad, you have gone too far this time. Dean and me, we're leaving for good. You can't control me anymore. You're just gonna have... 
Who are... What are they doing? Stop it! Let me go! I'm sorry, honey. It's the only way. on the authority of the FBI. What? I'll admit, I thought you were smarter than to hightail it away from a highway checkpoint, but so be it. Now I got a whole team of federal agents here, so this is where it ends, Jay. I'm not letting you people send me to die. Thing is, your friend Vanessa's been aiding and abetting you. She's going to juvenile corrections. Prison at 18. Her life's over, Jay. Hear what I'm saying? You're full of shit. Again. You're not sending her to jail. It's me you want. Actually, we want both of you. But it's you we want more. And that means you have some leverage. <sighs> Go on. Your turn. Jay, listen to me. Whatever Vanessa is to you, she was my little girl once. Slept on my chest, walked on my feet. And the special agent here, he says the only way she'll get a deal is if she testifies against you. Which can't happen unless you give yourself up. So please, do the right thing. For her. I'm coming out! Let her go! Down on the dirt. Hands over your head. Gotcha, asshole. Call off your dogs. She's not going anywhere. I was gonna run to another country with you. And you? You couldn't even tell me your real name? Maybe I should have. But I I love you, Vanessa. And that's uh, the truth. You think saying that makes it all better? I can't even look at you. Yeah, get him out of here. Honey, are you okay? You let them use me? What if he didn't turn himself in? But he did. Uh, I just saved you. Don't. Don't ever talk to me again. This is it. Everyone out. Have a seat.
You came. I wasn't sure you got the letters. I got them. One a month ever since March. You've grown up. I remember you as this six-year-old kid who is scared of the dark. You look how I remember. I don't feel it. Fourteen years of being in here. <sighs> you know they're executing me tomorrow. I know. I have to say, I didn't think you'd come. I didn't either. That bee on your arm, is it for Vanessa? Yeah, she was pretty special, kind, fierce. I looked her up once, she's doing well. Works behind the scenes on some TV show. This helps me remember that at least I did one good thing. You've been here the whole 14 years? Same building, same cell, same orange clothes. The inmates change, but we're not allowed to interact much. I used to know the sound of every bird in the woods. Thought one day I'd be just like them, moving tree to tree. Now I read, I write. When they let me in the yard, I watch the clouds and follow the shapes. We don't get a lot of birds here, but it doesn't matter. It'll be over soon. So, tomorrow, what happens exactly? Do they? It's all scripted. Down to the minute. They move me to a different cell, change my clothes. Then I get the meal. Spaghetti and meatballs. Smothered in cheese. After that... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. You ever hear from your mom again? She writes often as she can. I, I don't know where she is, though. That's nice, I guess. I like to picture her in a white hat, smoking cigars on a beach somewhere. <laughs> Wherever she is, I hope she's okay. Look, Jay. What's wrong? I keep seeing your face. In my dreams, out on the streets, I, I know it can't really be you, but it feels like you. That's why I finally came. I had to see you. Otherwise I just couldn't keep going. Zoe, are you all right? I know I've been in here a long time, but I can still tell when someone's not okay. That night, when you took me upstairs and the power went out, do you remember? Of course. I was terrified. You said, don't make a sound. And it's like I've been holding my breath ever since. When all I really want to do is scream and scream and never stop. I was just trying to get you quiet. The cops were breaking in. I didn't want you to get hurt. I know. 
I didn't say it made sense. I needed to be over, Jay. Our lives have been so different. But in some ways, we're the same. We both landed in the wrong place at the wrong time and tried to make the best of things. No, we're not. Don't kid yourself. I can't stay much longer. You said in your letters you had something you wanted to ask me? I'm all out of appeals, Zoe. Clemency is a long shot. There's a call into the governor on account of that I never actually killed anybody. But chances are I'm dying tomorrow. And when I think back on all the mistakes I made, all the people I hurt, you must hate me. After everything my family did to you. Innocent people were killed that night. People like Joyce. And you shot my dad right in front of me. What you and your family did can never be forgiven. Never. I know you hate me. I'd hate me too. But does it really make you feel any better? I can't sleep. Sometimes, I can't even think. Like I said, I need this to be over. If you really feel that way, Zoe, you should be there tomorrow. No. No, that, that isn't... That's not why I'm here. You said you want closure. Tomorrow's your chance. Nothing I say will ever make things better. If I tell you I'm sorry, that I didn't know better. The fact is, I should have known better. But you know something? If you being there tomorrow will help you move on, and it might, then I want you there. Hell, it'll make it all mean something. Otherwise, it's just the goddamn end. No. No way. I've seen too much awful shit already. Guess I don't blame you. I should get going. Sure. Thanks for visiting me. And hey, Zoe, you're gonna be all right. <sighs> The thing about shadows is, you can't escape them. You either come to terms with them, or the darkness swallows you whole. Lucky day, the governor's commuting your sentence. Why are some of us able to grow and change? Even when clouds have blocked out the sun.
Why do some of us find ways to endure? Others just wither on the vine. I don't know the answers, but I know I'm done running from shadows. Nobody's chasing me. Nobody ever was. Hey, Zoe. Uh, it's, it's Grandpa. I was thinking about our conversation the other day, about facing up to things, and uh, well, there's something I've never told anyone. That day in Two Rock, when I suggested we take the scenic route, there was a reason. I'd been there before, you see. Everything that came afterward, uh, does dream, all of it, I think it was all my fault. Please, you don't have to do this. Just calm down and make this easy on yourself, okay? Tell him he can have it. It's all in two up. Oh. <laughs> Grandpa? This is it. Everyone out. Have a seat. You came. I wasn't sure you got the letters. I got them. One a month ever since March. You've grown up. I remember you as this six-year-old kid who was scared of the dark. And you were a freckly teenager who barely even talked. Fourteen years inside will change anybody. Though I still don't talk much if I don't have to. <sighs> you know they're executing me tomorrow. I know. I have to say, I didn't think you'd come. 
I didn't either. Your brother, Tyler. He's here too, right? He's here. But we're not allowed to see each other. He got the same sentence. How long until they carry it out? There's no date yet. All I know is I'm going first. You ever hear from your mom again? She writes often as she can. I, I don't know where she is, though. That's nice, I guess. I like to picture her in a white hat, smoking cigars on a beach somewhere. <laughs> Wherever she is, I hope she's okay. That bee on your arm, is it for Vanessa? Yeah, she was pretty special, kind, fierce. I looked her up once, she's doing well. Works behind the scenes on some TV show. This helps me remember that at least I did one good thing. You've been here the whole 14 years? Same building, same cell, same orange clothes. The inmates change, but we're not allowed to interact much. I used to know the sound of every bird in the woods. Thought one day I'd be just like them, moving tree to tree. Now I read, I write. When they let me in the yard, I watch the clouds and Follow the shapes. We don't get a lot of birds here, but doesn't matter. It'll be over soon. Look, Jay. What's wrong? I keep seeing your face. In my dreams, out on the streets. I, I know it can't really be you, but it feels like you. That's why I finally came. I had to see you. Otherwise, I just couldn't keep going. Zoe, are you all right? I know I've been in here a long time, but I can still tell when someone's not okay. That night, when you took me upstairs and the power went out. Do you remember? Of course. I was terrified. You said, don't make a sound. And it's like, I've been holding my breath ever since. When all I really want to do is scream and scream and never stop. I was just trying to get you quiet. The cops were breaking in. I didn't want you to get hurt. I know. I didn't say it made sense. I needed to be over, Jay. Our lives have been so different. But in some ways, we're the same. We both landed in the wrong place at the wrong time and tried to make the best of things. No, we're not. Don't kid yourself. I can't stay much longer. You said in your letters you had something you wanted to ask me? I'm all out of appeals, Zoe. Clemency's a long shot. There's a call into the governor on account of that I never actually killed anybody. But chances are... I'm dying tomorrow. And when I think back on all the mistakes I made, 
All the people I hurt. You must hate me. After everything my family did to you. Jay, I won't lie. Seeing you isn't easy. Your family killed a lot of people. I've been afraid of this moment for a very long time. But you also looked out for me that night. I can't pretend I don't remember that too. So no. I don't hate you. Everything that happened? How can you be so forgiving? You've spent 14 years here. And now they're doing this. You've more than paid. I wish the state saw it that way. But if that's how you feel, then I want to ask you a favor. This thing's probably gonna happen tomorrow. They'll strap me to that gurney and then... I don't want the last face I see to be a stranger's. I want it to be yours. What? Be there tomorrow. Please, let me die looking at someone who knows me. No, I'm, I'm going home in an hour. Stay, please. No, no, don't you understand? I can't. Neither can I. I don't want to do this alone. You ever just want to sink to the bottom of an ocean and stay there forever? Every single day. What time does it happen? Midnight. Okay. I'll come. I'll sit where you can see me and whatever you feel, it's all right. I'll be there for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. The thing about shadows is can't escape them. You just learn to keep them behind you and look toward the light. Hello? your lucky day. The governor's commuting your sentence. Why are some of us able to grow and change? Even when clouds have blocked out the sun, Why do some of us find ways to endure? <laughs> While others just wither on the vine. the answers, but I know I'm done running from shadows. Nobody's chasing me. Nobody ever was.
Hey, Zoe. Uh, it's Grandpa. I was thinking about our conversation the other day, about facing up to things, and uh, well, there's something I've never told anyone. That day in Two Rock, when I suggested we take the scenic route, there was a reason. I'd been there before, you see. Everything that came afterward, uh, Death's Dream, all of it, I think it was all my fault. Please, you don't have to do this. Just calm down and make this easy on yourself, okay? Tell him he can have it. It's all in two of them. Ah! <laughs> Grandpa? I wish I had another layer on. It's gonna be beautiful once we get some altitude. What's the furthest you've ever hiked? I did the two rocks of two rock once. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, it was hard. Come on, we got a lot of ground to cover. Tell you a secret? I've never left Arizona before. Tell me when I'm not about to collapse. I promise I'll care. Here. <sighs> You'd be going a lot faster without me. I'd be going nowhere without you. Give me your hands. Uh, teamwork. <sighs> I don't get it. I'm cold and wet. My legs hurt like I've been in double gym all week. And you're the energizer bunny, just <laughs> going and going. How do you do it? You keep going because you have to. Right. Easy as that. <laughs> well, let's keep going. <sighs> My god. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. Sometimes at home, around sunset, me and my mom used to walk out into the desert, and on a hot day, if there was enough haze, the sun would just bloom like a giant fireball on the horizon. Was it better than this? Just different company. Hey, you're bleeding. Shit. I didn't even feel this happen. Let me see. There. That's better. I'm glad you know what you're doing. So, how do we get over the border? We're gonna have to swim. Won't it be cold? Freezing, probably. But it's good for you. Wakes you up. Way better than coffee. <laughs> ah. down. Uh. Vanessa? Are you there? It's me. It's Dad. Dad? What are you doing here? Do you know? Do you have any idea who you run away with? Y yes, his name's Dean. 
and I know all about the stupid burglary. Vanessa. This isn't right. How did he find us? Look, can we just talk for a few minutes? Please. to get up to that ridge. It's the only way. What's the point? He'll just keep following wherever I go. He thinks he can carry me home over his shoulder like I'm still a little girl. Well, fuck that. Vanessa, what are you doing? Hold your fire. Dad, you have gone too far this time. Dean and me, we're leaving for good. You can't control me anymore. You're just gonna have... Who are... What are they doing? Stop it! Let me go! I'm sorry, honey. It's the only way. Jay Holt! You are under arrest on the authority of the FBI! What? I'll admit, I thought you were smarter than to hightail it away from a highway checkpoint, but so be it! Now I got a whole team of federal agents here, so this is where it ends, Jay! I'm not letting you people send me to die! Thing is, your friend Vanessa's been aiding and abetting you. She's going to juvenile corrections. Prison. At 18. Her life's over, Jay. Hear what I'm saying? You're full of shit. Again. You're not sending her to jail. It's me you want. Actually, we want both of you. But it's you we want more. And that means you have some leverage. <sighs> Go on. Your turn. Jay, listen to me. Whatever Vanessa is to you, she was my little girl once. Slept on my chest, walked on my feet. And the special agent here, he says the only way she'll get a deal is if she testifies against you. Which can't happen unless you give yourself up. So please, do the right thing. For her. No! Let's go, let's go! Don't do it, kid. You'll never make it. If I live, you won't find me again. If you jump, you die. Even with a capital conviction, you could live 15 years or more just on appeals. You know how birds learn to fly? Their moms push them out of the nest. And once they're falling, they got no choice. Contact Border Patrol. Let me know when they find his corpse.
Where is he? Did he... He's gone. Probably dead. Daddy, please. Tell them to let me go. It's over. Your plan didn't work. Our deal was she goes free once he's in custody. And that didn't happen. Sure, this is the spot? It's not on the trail map. I'm good. Thank you. got into you. Don't speak. Don't make a sound. My god. Zoe. Hi, Jay. I wasn't even sure you got the letters. One a month, ever since March. You know you're still wanted by the FBI, right? How'd you even find me? The post office. I had your P.O. box number, and they helped me with the rest. People are... nice here. Yeah, they are. You look so different. I knew you'd grown up, but... <sighs> in my mind, you're still that scared little kid. You look older, too. Huh. More than I expected. Well, 14 years outside will do that to you. Hey, come sit down. I got a chair on the patio. And I promise, you won't need that pepper spray. View. I used to think so. I've seen it a lot. It's so strange that you're here. Thought about you and your family so much over the years. So you said. In your letters. I tried not to think about yours. I was doing pretty good at that. Until you started writing. <sighs> oh. I have a lot of questions. About your life and... Go for it. I don't have anywhere to be. I don't remember you having a scar before. Oh, I used to explore a lot in the early days. One time I came across a bear that I thought was hurt. Turns out she'd just had cubs. Lesson learned. Do you ever hear from your family? Nah. Ma left the country, I think. Don't know where. Tyler wasn't so lucky. He's on death row in Arizona. My pa and I sent letters a few times. But he said it was too dangerous for me. So that stopped too. And that's it. It's just me now. What about that girl you ran away with? Vanessa? I look her up sometimes. She went to Juvenile Hall for a while. But she's a... something with lawyers now. She turned out okay. You don't know that. Nobody can know if someone's okay. I guess you're right. Just... 
I hope she's happy. She deserves it. In all these years, you've never been recognized? I had some close calls in town. But you don't really know. You just feel people looking. So now I don't go far. Library, the market, that's about it. You know, the world thought you were dead after you jumped off that cliff. I almost was. I must have blacked out when I hit the water. I don't remember swimming to shore. So, why'd you come here, Zoe? You said you wanted to talk. I said I wanted you to write. But you came. In person. Why? I keep seeing your face. And my dreams. Out on the streets. And? And I knew if I didn't come look you in the eye... That you couldn't move on. If you want to talk about it, I might understand better than most. And I'm good at listening. That night, when you took me upstairs and the power went out, do you remember? Of course. I was just as scared as you. You said, don't make a sound. And it's like I've been holding my breath ever since. When all I really want to do is scream and scream and never stop. I was just trying to get you quiet. The cops were breaking in. I didn't want you to get hurt. I know. I didn't say it made sense. You know what the two of us have in common? We both got dealt a shitty hand and spent the rest of our lives trying not to fold. You and me, we're a lot alike. Maybe in some ways. Jay, why, why'd you start writing me? I told you, there's a lot I never got to talk about. I know, but why me? You said you see my face at night. Sometimes I see yours too. All these years later, you'd think I'd be able to move on, but I never have. You must hate me after everything my family did to you. Jay, I won't lie. Seeing you isn't easy. Your family killed a lot of people. And you shot my dad right in front of me. I've been afraid of this moment for a very long time. But... You also looked out for me that night. I can't pretend I don't remember that too. How can you be so forgiving? Because if I let myself hate you, then I'm lost. I know the feeling. Jay. Are you okay? I mean, are you really okay? I always told myself I got dragged into it. That... Family's family, and I did it because but I was one of them. I'm wrong. What if it's who I am? Do you think I'm bad? Am I. am I broken? You gave a scared little girl her stuffed owl back. No one bad and broken would have done that. You remember that? Of course. You shouldn't have been there. You were just a kid. So were you. Huh? Oh, 
I should get back down to the bus stop. Wait. I I was going to make dinner soon. Do you want some? Jay, I, I don't know. It's rabbit. And it's beautiful here at sunset. Rabbit, huh? Ah, they're so good braised. Show you how if you like. I am kind of hungry. <laughs> The thing about shadows is, you can't escape them. You just learn to keep them behind you and look toward the light. Why are some of us able to grow and change? Even when clouds have blocked out the sun, Why do some of us find ways to endure? <laughs> While others just wither on the vine. I don't know the answers, but I know I'm done running from shadows. Nobody's chasing me. Nobody ever was. Hey, Zoe. Uh, it's Grandpa. I was thinking about our conversation the other day about facing up to things, and uh, well, there's something I've never told anyone. That day in Two Rock, when I suggested we take the scenic route, there was a reason. I'd been there before, you see. Everything that came afterward, uh, the desert dream, all of it, I think it was all my fault. Just calm down and make this easy on yourself, okay? Tell him he can have it. It's all in two up. Oh. Grandpa? Hey guys, it's Ryan. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Please, before you leave, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It's the best and easiest way to help this channel grow. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you're going to like this video just as much. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one.